One of the longest running shows on CBS actually caused the network to end up in a really bizarre lawsuit. And the story is as insane as it is true. Today, we're here to talk about the story behind said lawsuit and share other recent news from the show we have all come to love so much. If you're as big a fan of NCIS as we are, then stay tuned. The story behind the lawsuit. Over the span of 19 seasons, the show has released many spin-off series and has generated even more merchandise for its parent network, CBS. Part of the list of merchandise became a toy, which has been involved in one of the long-running jokes in the series. On the show, fan favorite and widely adored character, Abby Sciuto, played by Polly Parrott, is a forensic analyst who owns. Bert made his first appearance on the show in the year 2003 and soon became a popular character, who would appear on the show every now and again. Sure, fans have been enjoying Bert's presence for over a decade now, and they don't seem to be getting enough of the beloved hippopotamus. But if we look at things from a more realistic, real-world perspective, we get to realize that behind the scenes, away from Bert's charm, the stuffed hippo became the subject of a copyright dispute. This copyright conflict then ultimately turned into a full-blown lawsuit between the manufacturer of the toy, Folkmanis Inc., and CBS. According to the lawsuit filed by Folkmanis Inc., Inc., the network CBS had profited unfairly off their stuffed animal design, which they referred to as a soft sculptural work. It was during the lawsuit that it was revealed that Bert Farting Hippo was actually created back in 2002. The toy made an appearance on the show a year after being launched by the company. The producers at NCIS used the folk monist stuffed animal for their show as a prop, but not without adding a choke collar to the design, and made it funnier by dubbing in sound effects and a farting hippo for the show. Well, we don't actually know what hippos sound like when they fart, we're just assuming they added in random farting noises to make the poor animal appear as part of comic relief on an otherwise intense murder show. Whatever they did, we're grateful to them for it. Because as fans, we absolutely stan Bert the Farting Hippo. Details about the lawsuit. Okay, getting back to the news, we found out that when Folk Manus were giving copyright restrictions on the product and its design back in the year 2009, people from the CBS store reached out to the company to hire them on a contractual basis to produce Bert the Farting Hippo merchandise. That was when Folk Manus decidedly issued them a second design for the hippo, which was essentially the same design as the first one. But they added the detail of the choke collar as well as an actual sound box with farting noises, just like the one on the show. But if Folk Manus agreed to create the toys designed for the show to sell merchandise with the the added details, which made it exactly identical to the Burt fans witnessed on the show, then why would they sue the network for using the stuffed animal? We were wondering the same thing. Truth is, in the lawsuit, and this is mainly why the company decided to terminate their contract with CBS in the first place, Folkmanis alleged that the network had actually started to import identical looking hippo stuffed toys from China of all the places. This obviously rubbed Folkmanis the wrong way because they had the right to receive the profit profits that the stuffed toy generated. Since CBS, again allegedly, violated the production agreement that both parties signed, Folkmanis ended up asking for a whopping $733,000. Of course, the companies ended up settling two years into the case. We cannot picture being as obsessed with NCIS as we are today without that farting stuffed hippo. Despite how sorry we are for CBS for being dragged into a case as ridiculously bizarre as this, we really wish it it isn't true that the network decided it was best to cheap out and not respect a contractual obligation. Now, in other NCIS news, NCIS LA production comes to a halt amid rising numbers of Omicron cases. COVID-19 is at it again. That's right, just when Hollywood was getting back into its element, shooting films and series left and right, it got hit with yet another variant. This time, although less severe in symptoms, it is the Omicron variant which is terrifying because of how easily and swiftly it spreads. This newest variant has brought production plans to a halt. According to trustworthy sources, NCIS has actually paused production on set after positive results for the virus showed in Zone A, which is a zone that includes the cast of the show and people who interact with them. In fact,
Project. The reported case is also rumored to involve a cast member on the show. Of course, the showrunners still intend to continue with the shooting, but what's going to happen is not exactly up to them. Some of the sources actually reported that production on the show may be stopped for a few weeks, at the very least. At the same time, NCIS LA also had to delay its return to production until at least February. It is being said that these steps were taken as precautionary measures, based on the fact that CBS's procedural is well ahead, and it definitely has enough episodes in their bag for them to afford taking a long break without impacting the season's run on TV. Omicron, being seriously contagious, has managed to wreak havoc on sets during the last couple of weeks with a lot of shows. These shows had to stop for a day or two in order to evaluate the situation better and create a mechanism for tracing contact. The problem is not only with CBS, though. Wherever we look, the cases just keep on increasing. As of last week, a list released by the LA County Health Department showcasing outbreaks over the last few weeks has surfaced. This list includes the names of several companies, revealing that almost no one is secure from this latest development in the virus's status. Even with a majority of casts, as well as crews across Hollywood being fully vaccinated, further delays in production and shutdowns are to be expected. Because Omicron has been causing an unprecedented number of breakthrough infections. Studios are monitoring the situation at the moment and waiting to receive more testing data before they can decide whether to proceed or not. NCIS latest episode not being released on January 10th is planned. As a fan of one of the longest running shows on CBS, you'd be psyched that the show is finally back on air and reaching some of its last episodes of season 19. This season has been exceptionally eventful, especially with Leroy Jethro Gibbs' character, Mr. Mark Harmon, leaving the series, with Alden Parker, played by Gary Cole, entering the show in its second episode. As we reach toward the end of this season, the show only appears to be getting more intense. The show recently returned Turned after an almost month-long holiday break, and the fans were excited to finally have it back on their screens. However, in the age of the COVID-19 pandemic, nothing is certain. It might have come as a shock to some when they tuned in to watch a new episode and were met with a rerun instead. However, CBS did update their fans about there not being a new episode, as they were promised. But it wasn't because of what you think. In fact, the reason why CBS decided to put on returns instead of airing a new episode episode was due to the College Football Playoff National Championship 2022 between Alabama and Georgia. It wouldn't make sense for the show to air and have to compete with the match's ratings. And yes, the delay could have been a result of the recent surge in Omicron cases and production on several shows coming to a halt. The viewers were instead provided with an earlier episode, episode two to be precise, from the latest season of the show. Of course, to fans of Mark Harmon, this meant that they will get to see their favorite guy on screen once again, after his unfortunate departure and absence from the recent episodes. Is there going to be a 12th season of NCIS? Well, at the time of reporting, there has not been any news of a season 20 renewal for the show. However, we are certain that CBS is almost certainly going to announce the renewal of the show for another season. And that's not simply because the show has a huge fan following. In fact, the expectations and the story line for the show is far from being concluded, so it would be safe to assume and predict that a new season for the crime show is going to be created. We just don't know for certain what this is going to be. The show has scored a 7.7 .7 out of 10 on IMDb and of course has more than 136,000 ratings. How can such a show be cancelled so abruptly? That's a wrap for this video. What are some of the other bizarre lawsuits you've heard of? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.